Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the beach. It is a great day. We are back on the beach today after a long hiatus. We uh, tried to go out in the middle of some storms. And as you guys saw in my last fishing video, we caught some cats from the beach. Not what we're looking for, but the conditions are starting to get right. It is about to be a great time to fish or in surf fish on Pensacola Beach. I'm gonna show you guys what's happened with the water. It is late September. It's about to get into the October season where we're gonna have the fall run of Pompano. The water is just starting to clean up after a lot of tropical storms and rain. We've had about a week straight of rain, but I'm gonna call this about one and a half foot seas. Water's starting to clear up. I don't see a lot of grass. So it's gonna be a pretty good day. I've got four rods out. I'm fishing by myself. Braden's at school. So I've got a 13, a 12, and two tens out. Uh, the 12 is kind of three quarters out. The 13 footer is about 100 yards out. And the two uh, 10 footers are pretty close, just on the bar is actually really close. So they're both right around the, the, the sandbar right now. We're fishing with, with a mix of uh, fish bites, fish gum. We've got some shrimp, and I'm going to try to catch some sand fleas in a minute. It's hot. It's in the morning. We are expecting a high tide of about 2 o'clock. I don't know if I'm going to be able to last till then, but that's what's going on. Thanks for joining us. Stand by for some fish. We're going to start throwing close up. I've got a double dropper with a corky, some glass beads, sand flea fish bites, another little corky, glass beads, sand flea fish bites, anchored by a two ounce sinker. Water's pretty calm, so we're going to cast this one right around the first bit of breakers and see what happens. All right, for our second rig, we've got a 10 foot rod and reel combo we've got a white pill float with a piece of shrimp fish bites and we've got another pill float with the coquina clam anchored by a two ounce sinker guy sputnik this one we are going to cast uh short to medium All right, we got our first fish of the day. It's on this 10 footer setup that I just cast into a medium distance. It jumped, it kind of looks like a lady fish if I were to guess. Maybe it's a needle fish. Yeah, don't see that too often. Check that out. We'll get it released and send it back out. with a 13 footer Ooh, this is a pretty good head shake damn haven't had a strike like that from the beach in a while it feels promising yeah baby it's going to the right got some good tugs i don't want to uh, I don't know. I think I lost it. All right, we got a little action on our 12 footer. A lot of head shakes. So I'm going to rule out a catfish. Looks like a little palm. Could it be? It looked like one in the in the surf. I got a glimpse of it through a wave. What do we got? Ah, bah! Hardtail, boo! I'm gonna throw him back. I found a rip just to my left. I didn't notice it when I first set up, but as I'm scooping for sand fleas, it became pretty obvious to me. Sometimes when I get to the beach, I don't 
quite see things, but the longer I'm here, the more time I have to see. Um, I'm going to change up my bait right now. We're going to put a piece of uh, fish gum, pomp candy. We've got a piece of green fish gum and a sand flea, the only sand flea I've caught so far. And I'm going to sling it out to this rip over here to my left. I'll try to explain what I see. So probably one reason I ruled it out is there's a couple sitting right in front of the rip. They probably don't know. But there's a deep pocket right here. And it's opening up. There's no waves breaking. But it's deep water right there. And I know fish like to run that hole. So we're going to cast a 12 footer in there. I'm not going to walk over there. I'm just going to kind of cast from my current condition or position and uh, see if I can catch my line into this rip. All right, so that, that's, that's kind of at the end of the rip. I'm happy with that. That's something I started doing. If, uh, if, the, if the beach gets crowded with folks just kind of sitting around, I really don't want to go drop my rod and reel right in front of them. I'll, I'll just cast where I want to go and stay near the rest of my gear. But here's the other three. I've got that one kind of just aimed left. If I were to look at the beach, it's, it's at the 10 o'clock position. It's right over there, probably about 40 yards off the beach. But in that rip, we'll see what happens. I'm going to update my close-in rod to put a piece of shrimp on my soaked fish bites. I'm sure the fish bites alone are fine, but if I can get any extra scent or incentive for the fish to bite, let's do it. All right, this is going to be my up-close rod. It's really shallow right in front of me. If I were to move, I'd find some deeper up-close. But what I'm going to do is just kind of cast this right over the initial breakers right around there see if i can catch some comp that are in close or some whiting all right that's right about where the peak waves are current's not moving strong so that ought to be a, a fine position all right we are having a slow day on the beach and i was lucky enough to catch this blue crab i kept him on water and uh didn't want to embarrass myself and show you getting showing myself getting bit, getting them out, but I was able to reach in there, snip off his claws, and now we're gonna use them for bait. This is gonna be fantastic bait. I will give credit to uh, Chip at the sinker guy. Let me see if I can get to a position where I can record this. All right, I'm gonna cut off all his legs. He's alive, I mean, I just snipped off his claws. But we're gonna use some crab knuckles. So here we go. Uh, this, if I cut this in half, I know this will also be amazing redfish or black drum bait. But we're gonna cut right down the middle. Okay, there's half the crab, and all of these. Let's get rid of this tail. But these are all knuckles. This is a knuckle, this is a knuckle, this is a knuckle, this is a knuckle. I mean, there's several baits on here, but what we're gonna do is just cut off one for now. So you can see there's a good crab knuckle. Maybe I'll cut another one just so I can get two on here. And we are gonna put it on my rod here, it's already got a piece of fish bites. I think I'm gonna keep it on there so I don't lose bait. I'd rather have something than nothing. But we got a piece of sand flea fish bites in this crab knuckle. And I'm gonna just put my hook right through this knuckle. Big old chunk of crab meat. I don't know what we'll catch with this, but our chances just increased. with this crab knuckle my goal is just to get right over that bar and the bar is not very far 
I don't have to cast very far today to get over the bar, but that's what we're gonna do. All right, perfect. Right over the bar, hopefully that's right where the red fish and the black drum are gonna move around today and we'll catch something big. ourselves a little whiting. Another more than piece of whiting. Real small pieces of shrimp. This one's not huge, but we're gonna try to put together a meal for a friend. All right, we got another little whiting. Here we go, the whiting is starting to bite. Number three. Yeah, bring it all the way in. Even if we don't have anything, we'll check bait. But do you feel like you have anything? Okay, maybe we, it just didn't bite though. Yeah. yeah, you got a little something. That, that's a little whiting. Yeah, on that one. Now you gotta take it off the hook. Oh, wait a minute. That's all right. Yeah. I think it's your job. Let's see if the cops come. You wanna take a picture of your fish? Sure. There you go. Catch and release. Nice job. I'm getting hits on a couple of my rods at the same time. Let's see which one commits. I brought everything in. The further I cast, the dirtier my line gets. So I'm just trying to fish the clean water. I wasn't getting ready to leave. This little whiting would have been the perfect bait size. But I think we're going to release him, let him get bigger. That's gonna do it for us today on Pensacola Beach. Uh, the good news to report is the beach is starting to look a lot like normal. We've had a pretty rough go the last month with hurricanes, tropical storms, crazy amounts of, of rain. We are 22 inches above the normal uh, rain level for the year. The water has been stained. We've had a bunch of grass to contend with. But it's, uh, it's mid to late September, just around the corner is gonna be that fall pompano run. And the conditions are starting to get right. We've got tournaments starting in early October, late October. So it's good to sharpen the tools and get ready to go. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys on the beach.